Hi there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of May 22nd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. I'm also running a soulmate or a soul tie reading if you would like to check that out. Okay, so here's the joint energy or the shared energy between the two of you. It looks like we've got some disappointment here. Three of swords is heartbreak, heartache, pain, sadness, breakups, disappointment in love, not getting exactly what I wanted here. We've got the five of cups, looking at the past with regret, wishing you could change something. Um, you can see like the spilled cups around her. Interestingly, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this could have been a marriage or the two of you were headed towards a commitment of some sort. The Ten of Cups also represents a wish fulfillment. It's a happily ever after card. It's getting something that you've always wanted. And in the reverse, it's either getting it and losing it or not having the opportunity to kind of live out this dream or wish or want that you've had. I do think this is a very promising relationship that just doesn't live up to the hype or it doesn't go the distance the way that it should. We've got the two of pentacles. So sometimes tarot will resonate in more than one way. This could mean like you are going back and forth here and you're weighing your options. Your options may be to kind of walk out of here. Maybe you want to approach this person again and see if you can work it out. You could also be dealing with someone who's wishy-washy and you can't make up their mind. Another possibility here is that this person is very busy and they don't make time for this connection the way that they should. Sometimes that two of pentacles is about juggling our responsibilities. All right, let's take a closer look at this person and we'll see what's up. All right, so we've got the page of swords here. This is the unfolding path tarot. I'm going to use the zodiac tarot to clarify. Page of Swords is curiosity. It's someone thinking about you, watching you, wondering what you're up to. This person could also be an air sign. Page of Swords is, it tends to be like a curious energy. You may not be speaking to this person. And if you are, you may not be saying very much. Maybe they're kind of wondering what you're up to here. So... Okay, yeah, they're in their head. We've got the Nine of Swords, sort of trying to figure some stuff out. Maybe a little bit of worry here. Hmm, we've got the Knight of Swords. So you've got a lot of air energy here. Knight of Swords is a Gemini card explicitly, but it can also be Aquarius or Libra. Knight of Swords tends to be very impulsive. I wonder if this person kind of runs in and out of this connection, or it's like you can never really predict what they're going to do. Um, this could be someone who doesn't really think things through. They tend to be up in their head. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're doing a lot of thinking. We've got the Four of Swords. That's thinking, gathering up your thoughts. I'm wondering what's going on. Maybe doing a little bit of healing. You might be in separation from this person right now. We've got the Six of Swords in reverse. This could be someone coming back towards you. It can also mean like a sense of restlessness here, especially given all these thoughts that are going on. So what the heck is going? Oh, okay. All right, we've got the hanged man here. We have the ace of swords in reverse, and then we have the lovers. 
Let me arrange these and we'll talk about it. All right, so we've got this Ace of Swords in reverse, which is someone who's not telling the truth or not being honest. I, I think this person is doing a lot of thinking about emotion. We've got the lovers here, Gemini energy. There's strong Gemini energy. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or one of you has Gemini in your chart. I think they're given the opportunity here to have a realization. We have the hanged one here, Pisces energy. She's all about seeing things from a different perspective. And it's like this person has a choice to turn this relationship around. I think there's a strong possibility of like a very long lasting connection here with that Ten of Cups and the Lovers. But I do think this person needs to wrap their head around this. So what is going on with them? Got the four of wands in reverse. They may struggle with commitment or they don't know that they want to take things to the next level for you, for anyone really. With that Ten of Cups in reverse, there, there could be a divorce situation here. Like either they've gotten divorced in the past and it went badly or maybe you have. Or they're unsure about commitment and what that would involve. Maybe they don't know if they want like marriage and children and all of these things. We've got the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. This could be someone who isn't sure that they want to settle down and be an adult and do all of those things. Or again, there's like a marriage or divorce situation or a children situation here. That's possible with the Hierophant as well. Okay, hold on. I had to cover up her nudity. We have the world in reverse, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. This is a cycle that hasn't finished. This is unfinished business. It's someone being given the opportunity to learn here. I almost think it's like you're nearly done and like this is the last chance. Let's see what fell. Okay, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. I think... They're being given the opportunity to let go of self-limiting behavior or self-sabotage. Perhaps this is karmic behavior. Um, the devil can be toxicity in a relationship. It can be in karma or a karmic partner or karmic lessons that are going on. Sometimes it's self-limiting behavior. They're, they're definitely faced with a choice here. And I do think it's like they're thinking really hard about it. You may have even given this person like an ultimatum here. Or like you told him like this is it. Okay. We've got the Page of Swords. They're watching you and thinking about you and trying to figure this out. They're very much in their head about the situation. I don't think that they're saying very much though, which could make you a little bit nervous. Let's do what they're feeling for you is currently and let's do uh, what they need to say. So how does this person currently feel about you? They may even be thinking about leaving somebody for you or you're thinking about leaving somebody for them and see, Got this Four of Cups. They're out of alignment. They're not sure what they want. This is like the time. This is the hour here. What about... Let me remove that card. It doesn't belong here. What about their thoughts? I forgive you. Maybe somebody here needs forgiveness. I regret lying to you. You both know I'm not the one for you. They may believe that like the two of you are wrong together or don't make sense together. I knew exactly what I was doing. I 
I think that they're disappointing you because they don't know exactly what they want here. They want you, and yet they don't. I do think they're doing a lot of thinking right now. I think they're probably in the weeds with this, probably overthinking it. But I do think there's a decision coming about this situation. And they do at least have some regrets here. All right, I think the time is going to tell on this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown. And if you'd like to order your own reading, you can find that in the description box. All right, blessed be.